We're giving it the last push to get more Hania. Hello, I'm Griffey, Stockholm Gwynny Griffith. Here we took everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, now we do reviews as well. Now it is the 27th of July, half past eight. Kids, everybody is in bed. We say everybody, just the kids. And I'm thinking probably a good time to get an hour's worth of working, building some supers. I checked the, the whole maple today and three hives there need more supers and I haven't got three hives and uh, three supers left so I am in the workshop building everything up now it is a total bomb site in here now just the way the year has gone having our time uh, in the year to sort things out uh, and that's one of the reasons I uh, quit my job to become a beekeeper because I couldn't keep on top of it. Click the link there to watch that video. Now, I was very lucky uh, that a friend of mine, how well, he was downsizing and he offered me to buy some of his old kit and I bought a stack of commercial brood boxes and supers. Now I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 supers I think already painted and in fairness to him real genuine guy he has blow torched everything down now I am going to blow torch everything down again just to be super careful but when you buy a second hand kit buying them from a, a good place from people you know who have gone into the effort of blow torching everything over so that what they're selling is 100% right that is always a good buy. That's always a good buy. So I never turn that down, especially from people I know. And when the price is fair. And when you're buying a second hand kit, it's not about trying to screw someone down uh, to get it as cheap as possible. It's meeting in the middle. So the two of you feel like you've had a good deal. How well felt he's had a good deal. I felt like I've had a good deal. Then everybody's happy. And then more stuff will come to you because people think you pay a fair price. It's never ever worth trying to rip someone off, take advantage of a situation, saying, you know, I'll, I'll give you X amount when you know that that is too cheap. Always pay the given rate. Because if I can fill these, I didn't plan on filling these supers up, but that's going to save me a huge amount of time now. I don't have to build these supers up. They're already built. Literally 10 seconds of the blowtorch, put frames in. So all I've got to do is literally build frames. But I have over here, my dad did build some commercial frames there, that's pre-built. So I am gonna knock up a commercial box now uh, for the video. Commercial supers or boxes are really, 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 really easy to build. Uh, they're like a similar like to a Smith. So I'm gonna do that, so that's gonna be one. And then I'm gonna start knocking up frames and we're gonna fill those second hand supers, which I have bought and hopefully Definitely not tonight. If I can get if I can get three done now in the next, I don't know, half hour or so, or hour maybe, it takes a while to do frames. So the whole maple is sorted. I'm going to Legoland with the family tomorrow for a day, and hopefully going to call in Clarkson's farm on the way back. Uh, come Saturday, I can get back on building some more supers and get these out. This is literally the last push now uh, to get that big honey crop in. Now, not all my hives need more supers. Um, I'd probably say the top 20% of the stocks that I've got, they're the ones needing the super. Now, from the home site here, a lot of the bees have tapped out. I lost a huge amount of swarms here in spring just because I couldn't get around everything. Um, another reason why I, I, did, I left my job to become a beekeeper, really. You know, why is, what's the point of going to work and letting the honey farm go in uh, backwards and upside down really where you need to be to sort it out um, but the 20% there they need super in and I'm seeing the same on every site every time I go into a site I'm thinking wow I wish I had an extra five supers on this site or I wish I had an extra six supers on this site 
It's not the case of you know, knocking 20 supers out per site every time you go around. It's just five year, four year, six year. And if I can keep doing that for the next three weeks, that's gonna, and as long as the bees fill it, that's gonna be a lot of money uh, in honey. Because honey has gone up, inflation, and the price of honey has gone up, price of everything has gone up. So the more honey you can produce now, the, the better you are for it. Um, and I think it's, you know, I don't want to be in the workshop at half past eight the night before I go on holiday. But I mean, you can't ignore this honey crop. I'm seeing the bees, they're white coming back, they're on that balsam. Um, you know, I was talking about in the, in, my, in the last video, click the link there to watch that video, that balsam could really fill some supers. If I get another, I don't know, 30 supers full off the balsam, I think uh, the sacrifice of working late now is gonna pay off later on. All right, let's get this box built. Well, basically, that's what I'm doing now. And I'm doing that. Oh, next two weeks, easy. And then after that, we'll see. We'll reassess. And it may be too late for bees to be able to draw and fill those boxes. But certainly, for the next two to three weeks, I think as long as that balsam gives, that honey is going to continue to flow, especially in Wales and places uh, where there is balsam. Most of the UK now is pretty much finished, but there are pockets where it's still coming in. And I think, let me know in the comments, do you think this is still worthwhile doing on the 27th of July? Building frames, putting boxes together and getting them on the bees. Is it worth my time? Am I doing the right thing? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, we're gonna finish the video there before I lose any more light. If you enjoy this video, don't forget, Click the like and subscribe button so you're notified of when new videos are uploaded.
Thanks for watching.